What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today, see what we find. Let's get this party started with a really interesting vehicle. 2009 Toyota Prius. No, I understand guys, believe me, I do, but I wanna look at it anyway. This, I believe, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, this is your second generation Prius here. And I actually really like this generation. They don't look the greatest, and this one definitely looks like it's seen better days. But it is an AT&T vehicle, and I love these old AT&T vehicles. Usually, they look a lot better than this, but I'm willing to bet this has probably got like 300,000 miles on the odometer. Um, boy, it's rough. I'm not going to lie. It's rough, but AT&T usually takes really good care of their vehicles. This one, it doesn't look like it's ever been washed in 300,000 miles, and you couldn't wash it because the paint would come off. It's got paint peeling everywhere. It's got hail damage literally everywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this is really rough. The, <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Nick's first car. Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Um, here you go, kid. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy birthday for the next couple of years. I bought you a Toyota Prius that looks like it really does have 300,000 miles on it. You could tell this thing has been sitting. It's got power? It does. It has. It actually, it's making noises. Oh, wow. This is, this is rough, guys. Take a look at this door panel. I've, I've got to know what the miles are on this. I do. This will go for nothing. I guarantee you this is going to go for absolutely nothing. The battery's probably no good in it. Thankfully, the batteries on these are relatively, relatively easy to replace. You could replace the whole battery pack. You could replace uh, individual cells. Um, I watched Hoobie's Garage do it a long time ago, and then he blew it up with nitrous. <laughs> I thought that was epic, man. What a way for a Prius to go out. Well, I was wrong about the miles. I was, wow, I was wrong about the miles. I was certain this thing was gonna have 300,000 miles on the odometer. I don't know if I can even get you guys. It just started. The gasoline engine just fired up. It's got 195,698 miles on the odometer. Here's your little, uh, I hesitate to call this a screen, but, but it is. Um, average fuel economy, and this is why I love these guys, 45.4 miles a gallon. No joke. Average, 45.4 miles a gallon. Yeah, it's nasty, guys. This one, this one is a lot rougher than I would normally even bother looking at. But I'm looking at it because, number one, I knew it had high miles. Um, number two, I know that people are going to be terrified of this car because it just looks awful. It looks really awful, and that's going to really take away from the amount of people that want to bid on it. And I'll be honest with you, I think this is a good one. It's got the books. Look at that. It has the books. I'm surprised that the engine started up and it runs great. It didn't need a jump. Give it a little throttle. It revs up nicely. No issue. Put it in drive. It goes forwards. Backwards. And then, I don't remember park. There we go. Now, climate. Let's see if we've got air conditioning. We'll turn the fan on medium. We'll do recirculate and the temp. Yeah, this is really old school, guys. <laughs> this is, I guess you just hold it down there. There we go. Maximum cold. Let's see. Uh, what a clunky old screen. I kind of love it. This thing is great. I'll tell you something. Um, no kid is going to want this car. None. And I'm, I'm halfway just joking with you guys about buying this for Nick. It is getting to that time, though, where um, he's getting to the point where he's going to need a car. And I am looking for something for him. I don't think the Prius... Uh, I just... Yeah, you know, I could take it and get it painted. 
<laughs> oh, that would be fun. I could paint it like lime green or something, you know what I mean? You could have a uh, audio, I assume this just, there we go, okay, yeah, 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 it works. Man, the AC is ice cold. I could have so much fun with this. I, I bet this car goes for nothing. You know, take it down, get it cleaned out. It runs great. Toyota Priuses are also very safe cars. Does the important window work? See? It may not be every child's dream, but here's where I'm at, and I haven't made any final decisions yet, but I'm thinking for a kid's first car, I want it to be something that's safe. That's at the top of my priorities. It needs to be something that is safe because this is an inexperienced driver that's going to be on the road and I know that he wants a Fox body and I've told him if he can maintain his grades and he keeps a good attitude, you know the routine, no problem, we'll get you a Fox body. But I am not comfortable putting him behind the wheel of a car with no traction control, no anti-lock brakes, no safety features at all um, as his first car. I, I just, I don't like that idea. I think something maybe, I, I maybe like this could be a good first car just so you can get the hang of driving, you know, really get the hang of, of being on your own, driving yourself around, getting used to how other people drive and how to react to different situations. Um, I'm also putting him in driving school, so that should help him as well. But I know it's not the car that dreams are made of, but you know, if you grew up like me, well, nobody bought us a car. That wasn't even an option. You know, I had to save my money. I had to work and save my money to buy a piece of crap car that lasted me like four weeks and then blew up on me. So all that money went down the drain, but it was still worth it because I earned it. I bought my own car. It was a big deal. I remember that. So I don't think that he's going to be the type of kid that's going to look at the car and, you know, start crying or screaming because I'll tell you this, if that were to happen, well, buddy, uh, I got a bicycle in the garage for you, um, and and that's he's not that type of kid, is what I'm trying to say. It wouldn't it wouldn't go down that way. But if it did, uh, hang it up, man, because you don't need a car. Something like this, I don't know. I'd probably just send it to Mako, get it repainted the same white color, clean the headlights, clean it up, you know, really clean it up, fix the grill, and there you go. Hail damage doesn't matter. I'm not worrying about hail damage. Just get it cleaned up, make it look decent. You have yourself a nice car that gets 45 miles a gallon and is reliable that'll get you from A to B for a while. And the benefit of working power windows, working radio, and cold air conditioning. What more do you want for a cheap car? Next, how about a 2022 GMC Sierra? This is an AT4 with the Duramax. No joke, four wheel drive, this thing's it, man. And the color, absolutely amazing. There's your uh, Duramax turbo diesel. I love this metallic blue. This is a beautiful color. Tires look to be in good shape. So far, the body looks to be in good shape. It's got the multifunction tailgate too, which I'll be completely honest with you guys, I don't really get it. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, is it dead? No? How does this... What is the point? If somebody could help me understand, I mean, I, I'm honestly, I just, I just don't... I don't really understand how this works or why. What, what does this do for me? Is it like a bench? You know, I can sit something up here and work on it? Um, I guess. I don't know. I guess you could fold this down if you pushed... Is it a step? Is that what it's designed to be? Oh, I bet that's what it is. It's a it's a step. Oh! Whoa! Okay. So it's not just a step. It's got kickers. Little bitty kickers, but kickers nonetheless. You've got a power outlet right here, USB outlet as well. You've got an aux input, Bluetooth. You got a whole stereo system back here, guys. Take a look at those little kickers. How cool is that? Now, I mean, I'll be the first to admit it's a gimmick. It's definitely a gimmick, but it's a cool gimmick. I like this. Okay, so 
the multifunction tailgate does serve some kind of a purpose. What else do we have here? We have, uh, oh, what do we got here? A power outlet. What is it? 400 watts, 120 volts. Over here, I guess this is like that old man handle, right? Okay, so I guess you just hold on to that and pull yourself up. Eh, I, I, you know, I guess that stuff is great, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, the truck actually looks really good. I'm surprised it's here, and I'd like to know why this thing looks almost perfect. Take a quick peek at the interior here. Wow, it's got power. It's leather, black and brown. This thing, wow, look at that screen. Yes, please. I'm really liking this. Okay. I don't want to, but I can't help it. It's such a good looking truck, guys. And I'm assuming the uh, Duramax is not like a 6.6. Six. <laughs> this is too small of a truck for that. So I'm betting it's like a, it's like a, boy, they're really ripping into that car out there, ain't they? Um, I'm betting it's like a, a baby diesel, you know, baby Duramax. Smaller one, probably some three something liter. Well, there it is. It's a Duramax and there's a little turbo right there. I'd love to know the actual displacement of this if I could find the uh, emission sticker somewhere, which is usually right here, but it seems to be missing. You guys will have to comment below because I know nothing about these trucks anymore. The things have changed so much over the years. I just haven't been able to keep up with everything, but I'm just going to, I'm going to assume this is a, uh, a baby diesel. Let's get inside. We'll go ahead and try to start it up. See if it wants to run. Wow, this is a nice place to be, guys. Let me close this door. Look, AT4 on the door right there. Look at the graphics. Oh, it's got graphics over here too. Oh, wow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. This is not good, guys. This is not good. It's really making me want to trade. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. It's making me want to trade in my RAM. Let's see if we can fire this thing up real quick. Definitely a baby diesel. That is way too quiet. Wow. Well, what is that on the screen? Okay, so on my screen I see these green like blobs in the middle of the screen but in person those aren't there like right right there maybe just is it sunlight or I don't know yeah that's not actually there in person guys I'm not oh that's my vest it's my vest it's the reflection of my vest all right and then over here you've got this honestly it's a pretty big screen on and the the resolution is absolutely beautiful on this, guys. A little slow, probably because the car just started. Yeah, it is a little... It's a little slow, but I'm betting it's just because we've just fired up the truck. Everything is probably still kind of booting up. See how much faster it is now? There we go. Yeah, it takes a minute, but not bad. Cameras? Back up? trailer cam and a hitch cam very nice now you've got down here your entire like uh air conditioning climate control heated seats cooled seats dual zone heat and air conditioning i mean this this thing is nice remote tailgate release auto start stop uh lane departure warning traction control hill descent control then you got your your shifter here which this is this is a little different it goes into gear forward yep brakes work backwards yep and park steering feels good brakes feel good average economy 17.4 ouch that's yeah 17.4 miles a gallon that doesn't seem very good for a, a diesel
important window, less important window works. You've got your four wheel drive and tow modes over here, headlight controls, uh, cargo lamp, interior lamps, bright and dim, and then all your automatic light controls and stuff right there. I mean, it's very intuitive, a lot of buttons, but honestly, this is really easy to understand and, and work. Sunroof, I mean, this thing's got it all, guys. This is, air conditioning is on and it is ice cold. Give it a little rev. Sounds good. It's got about three quarters of a tank of diesel and shows 347 miles of, uh, of range left on it. It's a nice truck. It really is. This is a great place to be. It sits really high too. I mean, take a look out there. You are way up off the ground. I can see a heads up display there too, which is really nice to have. I don't know how to work it. Somewhere there's usually a button that you can push for your heads up display. Looks like you've got uh, adaptive cruise control as well. Heated steering wheel, really nice. Of course, you got all your Bluetooth, even paddle shifters on a diesel. Really, flappy paddles on a diesel. All right, that's something. Anyway, it's a nice truck. I like it, but uh, no, there's no way I'm gonna trade my Ram in for something like this. I like the truck. I just like my Ram better. Next, I'm gonna assume this is a repossession. This is a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta TSI, and the reason we're looking at it is because it's a manual transmission, and it's from Bridgecrest Financial. And you guys may know Bridgecrest, I do, because I've purchased uh, several cars from Carvana, and I have financed through Carvana's uh, finance company, which is Bridgecrest Financial. Well, this is from Bridgecrest, which means this is a Carvana car and most likely a repo. Now, I'm not a big fan of Volkswagens. It's just not my thing. I don't I don't hate them. I just don't particularly love them either. This one, well, it looks relatively decent. The color's good, but if you take a look at the front tires here, there's like zero tread left. You got slicks on the front at this point. Back tires look like they may have a little bit longer left on them, but that tire is definitely shot. What about this one? Let's take a look over here. This tire has almost no tread on it either. It's uh, definitely shot as well. Some pretty nasty uh, below the paint scratches and scuffs right here. But I mean, it is a used car, guys. It's a 2017. You can't fault it too much for normal wear and tear. Just understand you're going to need to put some tires on it and you're definitely going to want to clean it up some. Let's see how the interior looks. It smells horrible in here. It, it, it's, don't let it fool you. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I thought this one was going to smell decent because it really doesn't look bad. Nope, it smells awful. Um, foul rank it's bad this one really really stinks how did you do this to such a clean car oh that that turns my stomach a little bit um wow i don't i just don't know if you take a look at the seat it is very stained up i mean you can see a line here it looks like someone just let one loose right there in the seat and if that's not bad enough well that seat's even worse. I, I don't even want to know what happened over there. It's, it's, this is really rough. I'm going to assume it's got no power because it's a European car and European cars always have dead batteries. Always. Oh man, you made me into a liar. Great. Oh, the mileage. Wow. All right. 123,453 miles. Good Lord. This thing's got some miles on her, man. Um, shifter. It actually feels good. I assume there's some kind of an interlock for reverse. Yes, looks like you push it down and up for reverse Volkswagen things. First, second, third, fourth, only a five speed. Really, there's no six speed on this. I could have, well, I would have thought it'd be a six speed. Well, it runs. I don't hear any funky noises. Lights on the dash, none. Door jar, seat belt, and park. If you turn the parking brake off, park goes off. If you close the door, the door light will go off. And if you put a seat belt on, which I'm not doing, the seat belt light will go off too. I wonder what the uh, what the fuel economy on something like this is. I wonder if it even tells you if you push the, no, I guess not. Oh, maybe you scroll, nope. I'm pushing buttons, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
there we go miles per gallon it doesn't tell you yeah that's all right anyway let's put the e-brake back on let's turn on the air conditioning and see if it works turn on the radio radio works all right 123,000 miles wow important window whoa 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 i'm going up and it's going down hey what okay well it it does work express down up uh, see that one's doing it too i'm trying to go up and it's going down lovely come on there we go oh good lord european car things right um it's a smoker's car probably part of the reason it smells so bad you can hopefully see there's like ashes and burns all just it's all up this here and as far as air conditioning goes if it works we're just not getting it um it feels cool but it doesn't feel cold i'm curious let's put it in gear and see if it goes forwards yep backwards come on it goes backwards all right air conditioning come on yes yes i think we're finally getting cold air conditioning out of this so that's good there we go yeah yeah air conditioning good deal books yes we have the books other than that i mean you got a phone holder there's a quarter you got some cup holders you got a PowerPoint or two right there, and that's about it. I mean, this car just doesn't have a whole lot going for it. I don't know, man. There's nothing in it. I mean, whoever went through it and cleaned it out made sure they got everything. So why don't we pop the hood real quick and uh, pop the trunk, too. I'm going to roll this window down real quick. I don't trust some of these cars, man. I think the doors are just waiting to lock on you as soon as you close them you know take a quick peek in the trunk oh boy well it comes with a lot of stuff i didn't expect that you got the rubber floor mats yeah there's a lot of stuff back here so we're not going to mess with the looks like an emergency tire kit maybe volkswagen roadside assistance kit yeah we're not going to mess with any of that stuff we'll just close this up Let's pop the hood real quick and just see what's going on under here. Make sure there's no funny noises or smoke or... Nope. I hear the direct injection. What a weird air intake. Take a look at that. It looks like a musical instrument or something. That, that's, that's different. Teeny tiny little engine. That sucker is itty bitty. Wow. It looks like it's relatively easy to work on. That's abnormal for a European car. Let's see if it tells us what size that engine is. Um, blah, 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 blah. It's a 1.4. Oh, it is, it is small. Good Lord, 1.4 liter. So I would have to assume the fuel economy on this is probably just through the roof. I imagine it's, it's really good on gas. Needs a heck of a cleaning, but that's no big deal, man. Um, one trip to the auto spa this thing will look and smell i don't want to say new because there are cigarette burns in it but i think i think you get this thing to the auto spot get it a good cleaning this thing would be decent guys so i'm not sure what this thing is worth but being that it's a repossession i think that might actually help my case some it may actually go for a reasonable price especially with 124,000 miles on the odometer that paired with a repossession yeah i think this car might be something i'd be interested in next i know you guys saw this car and i'm sure several of you have said something about it a 2010 lincoln town car i had to look at it guys because i love the panthers i love the panther platform this is a continental edition and i've never heard of that but lincoln's have always had lots of different uh, editions of their vehicles so it doesn't surprise me i've just never heard of the continental edition before um something's going on with the trunk that's the first thing i notice it's it must have one of those pull downs and it's broken because you can clearly see 
there's a large gap on both sides of the trunk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's got one of the electronic pull-downs and it just doesn't work. The body looks to be in really, really nice condition. The paint and the chrome all look to be really good. I thought I saw some peeling somewhere. There's a scrape over here. The bumper's got a few little blemishes and someone used the wrong color paint. Looks like they used white out to try to touch up the bumper. Um, aside from that, overall though, car actually looks really good. I love a town car. I really do. I can already see there's tons of bags on the inside, so I'm trying to prepare myself that this is probably going to smell really awful. Um, it doesn't. So it looks like somebody was maybe living in this car. We're not gonna we're not gonna mess with anything. These are obviously people's belongings, and I don't want to don't want to mess with any of that stuff unless we were to win it and then we could have a lot of fun going through it the doors weigh about a thousand pounds it smells like pot in here like real bad really really bad <laughs> you got continental embroidered on the seats i'm telling you what i'm getting a contact high just standing here golly man that's uh potent <laughs> that's real potent oh well we'll pick that up and we'll put it back Obviously, I didn't intend for that to happen, but it's like the thing just popped off when I pushed the push the button. There we go. Let's just leave that alone. There's a lot of stuff in this car, so we're not going to be able to do our normal, you know, looking around, checking things out. Seats are super comfortable. Oh, wow. There's, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a, oh, there's a, yep, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, it's uh, it's rank in here, man. And uh, there you go, in case you need some extras. All right, let's let's focus on does it run? It's got power, which is unusual. You got a Kenwood Acceleron with guidance by Garmin, tenth anniversary. That's a nice double din right there power steering makes a little noise no big deal 106,000 miles on the odometer that's not bad check engine light is on ABS light is on brake light is on and it is not the uh, e-brake that's on either foot on the brake brakes feel good well it's got a backup camera too and backup sensors. It goes backwards. Right into gear, it goes forwards. It's got the parking aid. I heard the air compressor kick on. This is, you know what? Forget a Volkswagen, I'll take this. You wanna talk about something that's comfortable? I'm already starting to fall asleep in these seats, guys. These seats are absolutely phenomenal. Um. Tinted windows, important window works, less important window works. What more do you want from a car, man? We'll pop the hood. The air conditioning is cold. That's no joke. It's got ice cold air conditioning. It runs great. Let's pop the trunk. Uh-oh. I don't think the trunk works at all, guys. Yeah, I had a feeling there was something going on back there. The uh, popper works on the gas tank, which is, you know, that's good. The trunk, however, she's stuck. Yeah, she's, uh, she's stuck. God only knows what's back there. Tires, Firestone, good tread, but they are dry rotted. Looks like these have been sitting a while. Yeah, those tires gotta go, like, immediately. It's gonna need tires. Front tires. They got excellent tread. Front tires don't look nearly as cracked, but I just wouldn't take any chances, guys. I hear the compressor kicking on and off like it's supposed to. No funny noises. I don't see any smoke. Listen to that. Runs like a top. Purrs like a kitten, guys. Big old AC Delco battery right there. 
yeah i take this all day i'm gonna put this on the list as a uh, as a potential candidate this is just too nice a set of tires figure out the trunk and drive man this thing we turn off that air conditioning honestly that air conditioning is way too good abs and brake light are probably just a speed sensor probably no big deal check engine light who knows it's one of those things map update notice all right it's got sirius xm too man wow yeah sirius xm works looks like we got our maps this is guys honestly this is this is a decent car it's still got somebody's house keys on it too adjustable pedals as well gonna need a a really good cleaning a thorough cleaning i'd want to make sure that there's nothing left in it that uh, could get me in any trouble if i were to get pulled over but i'm telling you right now something like this this is like this is like executive driving right here man this thing is gorgeous and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Drop your comments below and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.